So how many of you guys out there use TikTok? Do you use TikTok for fun videos that you're doing impressions of or doing voice overlays or, or miming or lip syncing to? Or do you use TikTok to also promote and display your custom cinematic material? Well, today I'm gonna to show you the proper bitrate settings that I use for exploring videos to TikTok and the dimensions on how you can create some custom work. So let's hit it. <laughs> What is up guys and gals? My name is Steven and this is Too Lazy for Google. This is a channel all about videography, droning, tech, cameras, uh, cinematic tutorials, ideas for editing, and basically more info on how you can raise your camera and video game. On today's episode, I wanted to do a quick video for you on how you can export custom cinematic content to TikTok. So are you one of the 800 million people who use TikTok? It's kind of crazy to think about this, but this app has been downloaded over 1.5 billion times and is now the top ranked download on the Apple App Store. It's always important as content creators that we utilize every app and every tool we possibly can. In the case of TikTok, it's hot, it's busy, and people are using it daily. In fact, there are almost 1.8 billion posts on TikTok, on TikTok that are created every week. And this number is only growing as the app is used more and more. When it comes to using any app for importing or uh, uploading video too, it's really important that you maximize the quality as well as the bitrate on your video so that when the engine on this app takes a video in, it doesn't compress it down past where the video is, well, in our minds, high quality enough to be viewed. So enough of me yammering away talking to you about the magic of TikTok. Let's go hop into Premiere Pro and I'm gonna show you the settings at which I export my bitrate as well as dimensions for the TikToks. Let's go. So here we are in Premiere Pro CC 2020. And the first thing you guys wanna do is make sure that your sequence settings are set correctly. What I like to do is I like to create uh, a nine by 16 aspect ratio. Obviously that's what TikTok does is have that in kind of a very tall vertical format, but we like to have it in a 29.97 frame rate for this video or 23.976 if you're shooting at 24 frames a second, but it's important to set it to 1080 by 1920. Also making sure that your width and height also match that as well. I like to use the maximum render quality here as well. It does use a little bit more of a memory uh, from the machine, but it does export at a higher quality upon final video rendering. So I usually set that up and away I go. So grabbing your video onto this, I take on this video here. I'm gonna drop it on the first track. It's gonna give you this warning sign saying the clip doesn't match the settings because the video was shot originally in 4K. I like to also have my videos in 1080 when I export them, just because it gives a bit of a higher quality rate from exporting down from 4K. So now we get this video that pops in and shows the lighthouse in its traditional 16 by nine aspect ratio. We have to then select this file and adjust the scale width by bringing up over here to essentially fill up the screen. So we're gonna bring this forward here. So about 91.1 sets the video at a full width size for what TikTok displays in its full vertical format of nine by 16. Uh, it's nice to kind of like crop a bit, of course, and maneuver the video around. So let's just move this video over to the left a bit to show the perspective of the lighthouse. So from there, we now can take a look at our clip if we play it. Ah, uh, yes, a pretty morning in PEI. So let's stop it there, and we're gonna then adjust our clip to make sure it fits within about a seven second time frame. So that's a, that's a nice setup for how we're gonna set our video. We're going to say, after we color grade it, let's just go quickly into color grading, maybe go to creative and we'll throw a fun, simple LUT onto it. Let's go with Kodak here. So we're gonna go with a pre-built Kodak LUT. Normally I grade my video already, so it's done custom style, but in this case, since we're in a hurry, let's just throw a LUT on top of the creative process. So as we look at this now, it gives a pretty good cinematic quality on first glance. Okay, so our video is good. We're gonna set our in and we're gonna set our out points. I like to render it just to give it a full overall sense of quality. So we're gonna render that in and out right now. Render, 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 render. Almost done. And there we go. Cool, so that's what the video is gonna look like when it exports. Done. 
So now is where the fun part begins. So we're gonna go over here to the export settings and media. So in export settings and media, this is essentially where the magic of Premiere Pro takes place. Right here, as you can see, we have our uh, settings for both the format, the presets, export audio, basically also a summary of the video itself too. It shows the frame rate, how it's being encoded, and the sequence settings there as well. So we have that all saved up, and we're gonna go down here now to the basic video settings. So this is essentially what the video settings are. So as we can see, we have a match source of high bit rate. The video here is gonna be at a 1080 width by a 1920 height. And it's shot at frame rate of 29.97 seconds, 29.97 frames per second that we had originally shot the video in. And progressive for a field order, square pixels is great. And we're always gonna hit this little box right here at render at maximum depth. Next, we're just gonna keep on scrolling down, which gives us the hardware encoding profile and main. So these are settings that the encoder uses to basically compact the video file down to show also the level of how it's gonna be exported out to the various platforms to display. I like to personally set this a bit and raise this to high. So high then changes the preset up here, you'll also see the custom. It's still matching the high bit rate, so don't worry about that. But since you're setting the high profile rating is gonna be then set out at a higher rate. We're gonna scroll past this. We're gonna scroll past custom light levels and we're gonna go down to essentially the most important part of this entire video, the bitrate encoding settings. So the bitrate encoding settings, uh, I like to set this for TikTok at VBR2 pass. So essentially this is what happens when the video rate is encoded by the encoder. It takes two times to go through the encoding rate of the video. So I like to set this as a set rate of 8.5 and 8. Now you might be wondering, why do you have the same target and maximum? Personally, I have found these two levels to be the best rate of quality of video, uh, you know, for what the video size is gonna be. Since the seven seconds, 8.5 is sufficient. You could in theory pop to about a 10. Uh, that's possible as well, because you're about right here at nine megabytes a second for the estimated file size. If it's gonna be a longer clip of about 60 seconds, I would go back to 8.5, just because of the fact that TikTok, like all other social media programs, loves to condense your final file size. So after we have set the VBR2 pass, and we've done down here, everything else looks good. The video is definitely not VR, and uh, we're gonna go down to this bottom level here for use maximum render quality. That's another essential button that you should always hit, regardless of what you're exporting from Premiere Pro. I always have this set. Time interpolation, I leave to frame sampling. This gives a nice smooth motion, of course, as it says here, but it also blends the frames together to give the most cohesive frames if we're using multiple frames in the sequence. In this case, we're not, we're using one frame only, but uh, you just leave us as frame sampling. After that, we just take a look here and uh, everything looks good on this side and we hit export. So guys, that was my quick vid on how to export a quick snippet of video, cinematic style, to TikTok. Do you use the app? Are you inspired to try uploading your own custom content? Leave a message below, drop a link, we'd love to hear from you. And also please hit like and smash that subscribe button below and we'd love to hear from you as well as keep up to date with notifications on videos that we have upcoming. Both Janica and I unfortunately can't vlog side by side because of social distancing and the COVID situation. However, we're gonna be bringing you content as best we can both separately from our ideas and videography cinematography, if Lumix is better than Sony, which it is, basic content coming up to help raise your camera game. So until then, make custom content, put it on TikTok, see what happens. You never know who might watch your vids. Ciao.